good morning students so today's topic is uh, lighting of tunnels so there are so many situations under tunnel which demands adequate light they are uh, since it is an underground passage there will be so much obstructions in tunnel and also uh, drilling and mucking zones will be dark area which demands uh, light okay and the bottom of shaft that is uh, shaft means it is vertical passage which is provided on the tunnel that i will uh, discuss later and bottom of shaft will be dark area so it demands uh, lighting and uh, the storage points pumping stations underground repair shops all demand lighting okay so uh, lighting of tunnel is uh, very important because uh, it is an underground passage and the spacing of light will depend upon various factors like tunnel dimension size of light source and nature of rock surface based on that uh, we are fixing the spacing of lights the common type of lights used in tunneling work are acetylene gas lighting electric lighting and lanterns uh, lanterns are used in survey works and during the use of instruments survey instruments and they are carried in hand and uh, uh, burning gasoline uh, will provide light that is lantern and uh, cold gas lighting means cold gas is taken in a pipe from gas plant and uh, it will burn and give light and acetylene gas lighting acetylene gas is used to develop light here and uh, electric light it is most popular method of lighting nowadays electric lighting is uh, provided in tunnel so this is electric lighting so this is about uh, lighting in tunnel next is ventilation of tunnel uh, ventilation of tunnel is very important because uh, there are so much situations which demands ventilation that is uh, dust and gas is uh, caused by drilling and blasting loading of uh, excavated materials and short creating that is during drilling blasting and uh, short creating process there will be so much development of dust and gas so uh, in order to remove or in order to uh, uh, provide fresh air ventilation is uh, very urgent and also exhaust gas and smoke is discharged by diesel so ventilation is uh, very much uh, necessary during this situation and uh, uh, from explosives and organic solvent uh, poisonous gas will be developed and also uh, under this tunnel there will be high temperature and high humidity so in all these situations uh, ventilation is uh, very essential in order to purify the air okay so uh, under the tunnel since it is an underground passage ventilation is very essential in the case of tunnels so during construction it is necessary to ventilate a tunnel for various reasons that is during construction ventilation is very important because uh, to furnish fresh air for the workers that is uh, workers will be uh, there so uh, they have to give uh, they have they have they should have fresh air in order to complete the work so ventilation is necessary during the construction process and uh, also to remove the dust caused by drilling blasting mucking diesel engines and other operations ventilation is needed and to remove op uh, obnoxious gases and fumes which is produced by explosives so during construction also uh, this uh, ventilation is necessary uh, due, uh, due to these reasons that is to give fresh air to the workers and to remove dust and to remove uh, poisonous gases so objective of ventilation means to supply fresh air to the working crew and to remove fumes and gases to remove dust caused by drilling and blasting operation and to reduce temperature in tunnel okay so for all the uh, to achieve uh, all these objectives ventilation is very essential in the case of tunnel so the supply of air that is purification of uh, air is uh, done in two methods that is there will be temporary ventilation that is ventilation at the time of construction that is temporary construction uh, sorry temporary ventilation that is ventilation which is provided during the construction time in order to give fresh air for the workers and tem uh, permanent uh, ventilation means it is the ventilation which is provided after the construction work that is it is permanent after completing the work we are providing ventilation and it is permanent uh, permanent ventilation provided in that uh, tunnel okay so temporary ventilation and permanent ventilation and uh, the ventilation of tunnel can be done in three methods that is first one blow in method and second exhaust method and third one combination of blowing and exhausting process that is combination of these two methods so first one blow in method in in blow in method uh, fresh air fresh air is, is uh, forced or supplied by a fan through a pipe 
and is supplied in a phase that is we are uh, supplying fresh air by using a fan okay this method has an advantage that a positive uh, supply of fresh air is guaranteed where it is uh, required that is we can supply fresh air where it uh, demands so that is blowing method and the second one is exhaust method in this method uh, the foul air is pulled out uh, through a pipe that is foul air is removed from that area using a pipe and is exhausted by a fan that is exhaust method uh, this setups uh, a current of fresh air to enter the tunnel and this method has advantage uh, that a foul air is kept out from the working place that is in blowing method we are uh, providing fresh air using a fan and in exhaust method we are removing the foul air using exhaust uh, system okay and in uh, third one that is combination of blowing and exhausting process it utilizes the advantages of both that is we are using blowing method and uh, exhaust method after blasting exhaust after blasting fresh air exhaust system is operated for 15 to 30 minutes to remove the foul air okay then after which blowing system operates for the supply of fresh air that is uh, uh, first we are removing the uh, foul uh, air uh, for around 15 to 30 minutes then after removing this foul air we are supplying uh, fresh air using the blowing system so it is a combination of blowing and exhausting process so it is most efficient method it is the best method of uh, providing ventilation okay so uh, the ventilation of tunnel is uh, done by three methods blowing method exhaust method and combination of these two methods that's about ventilation in tunnel next term is shaft shaft uh, so shaft means uh, this is shaft shaft is the vertical uh, tunnel or wells or passage reaching from ground surface down to the tunnel invert vertical passage which is reaching from ground uh, level to the tunnel invert that is known as shaft okay and this shaft are used for ventilation after the construction of tunnel so for the ventilation we are providing this tunnel and it is uh, usually constructed after uh, provided after the construction of tunnel and it is useful to accom accommodate the pipes during construction work during construction work we can accommodate pipe during this uh, du uh, along this uh, shaft okay so this is shaft the last topic is drainage of tunnel okay so drainage is very essential and the drainage can be done in different stages first one pre drainage and second type dewatering and third uh, permanent drainage so pre drainage means preventing the entry of water from entering the tunnel before starting the construction work that is pre drainage that is prevention of uh, water entry before the construction of tunnel that is pre drainage and dewatering means removing the water that has entered the tunnel during the construction work so during the construction work since we are uh, doing so much digging process there will be entry of water so the removal of uh, the water which is which has entered during the construction work is known as dewatering okay then permanent drainage means uh, removing the water after the completion of the tunnel uh, tunneling process so there are three stages pre drainage dewatering and permanent drainage pre drainage means it is uh, preventing the entry of uh, water before the uh, start of construction work and dewatering means during construction work there will be uh, so much of water so removal of this water is known as dewatering and permanent drainage means after completing the tunnel construction we are removing the water that is permanent drainage okay so drainage can be done by different methods first one sums and pumps uh, sums and pumps uh, sums are connected by a pipeline and are provided at a distance of about 300 meters that is uh, for a distance of 300 meter from tunnel we are providing sum okay and the water is pumped from one sum to another until it is thrown out of tunnel opening that is we are pumping out water and this uh, this is collected to the sum so this one of the method of uh, drainage next is grouting yes in some situations we cannot uh, provide the sums and pumps so in that case, situation if water is percolating from the top of the tunnel that is if there is water percolation we are providing grouting that's in order to prevent the percolation of water okay so grouting is adopted to make the seams water tight that is in order to prevent the entry of water inside the tunnel we are providing grouting okay i think uh, you know what is grout grout means combination of cement and sand so by uh, using this grouting we can prevent the uh, percolation of uh, water through the uh, ground okay so that is another method of prevention of uh, water entry or drainage the last one pilot tunnel 
so in some cases we are providing pilot tunnel at a lower level than the main tunnel that is known as pilot tunnel pilot tunnel uh, tunnel means it is the tunnel which is provided at a lower level than the main tunnel okay so it is constructed parallel uh, parallel to the main tunnel for drainage of water okay so these are the different methods uh, that is how we are providing drainage for a tunnel that is we can provide some sump pumps and we can collect water uh, to the sums through using some pipe and also we can prevent the uh, percolation of water by providing grouting and also pilot tunnel can be constructed at a lower level than the main tunnel and water can be removed so these are the different methods of drainage okay so by this our uh, fifth module is over okay so i'll share notes uh, so please go through the notes and study these topics thank you